Hey folks, are you finding your players are checking their phones, staring blankly at their dice towers, and feel like you're just going through the motions? Today we are going over five tips on how to keep your players engaged at the table. Both as a game master and a player, I want to be at a table with fellow players who are excited to game. So when folks are regularly disengaged and just kind of going through the motions, it takes a lot of the fun out of gaming, at least for me. So how do you prevent or fix uh, the problem of disengaged players? Before I get into the tips, if you are new here, hi, I'm Dawn and this is Roll for Initiative. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our weekly videos all about tabletop role-playing games and our other geeky interests. All right, let's get into the advice. First, make sure the player characters have a reason to care about the adventure. Backstory tie-ins are one of the best ways to do this. You have a built-in hook for each of the characters to at least one adventure arc by drawing from their backstory. And you can sprinkle in smaller moments that draw on something from their character sheet. Perhaps they run into an NPC from their former life. They get a clue to the mystery they are trying to solve. They hear a rumor about their long lost family. There are a lot of ways to have something in the session tie into their backstory without needing to build an entire adventure around it. On a quick side note, I've and I've done an entire video about this. You can go check it out when you're done here. Um, I think don't make every adventure about saving the world. Yes, the characters will care, but it's going to be hard for the players to stay engaged with everything when it's always at a 10. Second, utilize NPCs. If you create unique, fun, interesting NPCs, your players will want to interact with them. I always try to pay attention to the NPCs my players are responding to and, when possible, find ways for them to become reoccurring characters in the campaign. We've done a few videos on how to create NPCs and I'll link to those so you can check them out after this video. Know your audience. By this I mean know what your players enjoy as well as what is their play style. Do they love combat, exploration, intrigue? choose modules or build adventures with this in mind. And beyond the table as a whole, what are the player's preferences? Does one player really enjoy shopping or role play, traps? Whatever it is, try to keep this in mind and make sure there's something for everyone in a session. So if I've got a session, let's say it's a social intrigue session that's going to appeal to most of the table, but there's one player who, for whatever reason, is not into that. Whether it's their personal interest, their character isn't great at social intrigue, I will try to make sure that there's something for their character to do to contribute. And if one player just didn't really get a chance for that, um, I will try to make sure that the next session they have more opportunities. I want to take a quick moment to thank all of our patrons, especially Black Dragon Gaming. If you want to support our channel, you can head on over to patreon.com and check out the perks of being a patron. Okay, let's get back to the advice. Next, let your players keep each other engaged. You can do this by encouraging teamwork. Build encounters that will need everyone's skills, as well as reward helping the, each other out. This will lead to players engaging with each other to plan and solve obstacles, and this will help prevent one player from kind of dominating the game. And if you do see this happening, encouraging other players to join in can be as easy as hinting that a DC will be lowered if they work together. And finally, make sure you are having dynamic and varied encounters. Campaigns can get stale if every combat is a reskin of the same battle. Add some variety. Maybe it's a chase rather than a fight to the death, or you need to protect someone. Use the environment to add different challenges. Plus, not everything needs to be combat. If you're interested in how to change up your combat, you can check out this video. I do think it's important to realize and accept that your players are not going to be fully engaged the entire session, especially if it's a long session lasting several hours. It, it can be hard to concentrate for that long and can get pretty exhausting. If your players are having fun, aren't disrupting the game, or completely clueless to what's going on, let them disengage when they need to. If they're not in a scene or their character is just kind of not as important, uh, but they're still there. And people may have stuff going on in their lives that is drawing more of their energy, so they may appear less interested than they really are. When I do have a player that seems to be less engaged than they used to, I try to check in with them to see if there's stuff I can do, as well as just to let them know that I care that they're having fun. Also, make sure you are taking breaks. So 
the table and you, the game master, uh, can have a little bit of downtime to rest and uh, kind of refocus. And for any players watching, you can help! You can make the choice to give your attention to the game and let your game master know what you enjoy and what you want to see more of in the game. So how do you keep your players engaged? Do you use any of the ways I mentioned or do you have what other ways to capture your players' attention at the table? Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week on Roll for Initiative. Bye! <laughs>